Teletato Kato, good evening. Tonight's the night. It's time to get that census form filled out. Stats NZ is hoping a lot of people do because the response so far hasn't been as high as what they'd hoped for. 1.7 million people have completed the survey online already, but there's more than 3 million to go, Leighton Hakel reports. Lots of people, lots of questions. Have you filled out your census form yet? Don't even know what that is, sorry. Yeah, I have. I think so, probably. I don't know, I've been kind of busy. No. Do you, do you plan on it? No. Yes. Oh, once I find out what it is, I will, yeah. Well, it's actually a requirement, even for those who are only visiting. Everyone in New Zealand today has to fill it out. But I'm not a New Zealander. Really? Yep. Yeah, Harry Styles has to. And we'll be including our visitors in our household numbers. Oh, I didn't know that you, that you had to do that. Don't confuse me, please. <laughs> Officials are hoping they won't confuse too many because the census tells us what we need to know about the country, giving government agencies the information they need to best allocate funding and support. Well, if people don't fill out the census, um, obviously there's a whole lot of follow-up. We door knock, we try several ways to get them to fill out the census. Um, there are penalties if you don't. Which could include a fine of up to $2,000. No! Really? Two thousand fine, did you know? Shit, I have to do it when I get home, eh? <laughs> and Stats NZ says census workers are going door to door to make sure that's the case. The team are a flat tack. But are facing a few obstacles. Abuse and threats has been a very minor part of the hazards that our teams have experienced. It's mainly been dogs. <laughs> Despite that, crews are committed to getting the data because they need a bigger response. I'd always hope for a higher degree of response before census. Uh, it just makes um, some of the non-response follow-up that we do after census a little bit easier for us. The last census in 2018 had the lowest response rate in 50 years, particularly with Māori. The minister doesn't know how many Māori have been captured so far. Why not? Because that's a specific target that was missed out, that they failed us dismally in, so why doesn't she know? But the minister is betting her job on the overall numbers being better than last time. Are you willing to stake your job on hitting that 90% target? Absolutely. What are you doing to combat So you're gone if you don't hit 90%? <laughs> you'll resign? <laughs> That's a step too far. So there's a lot at stake as we wait to see how many people fill out the census and what kind of picture that paints of our country. So Leighton, when will we find out if we've hit that 90% target? Well, Laura, it's likely we won't get the results until this time next year. As you can imagine, it's a big job to crawl through all that data. And the statistics minister, Deborah Russell, says that Cyclone Gabrielle has also played in a significant impact on the census. Those most affected areas like Tairawhiti and Hawke's Bay have had an extension. They have until June to fill out their forms, so there may even be further delays. Despite that, Stats NZ says that uh, its goal is still 90%. They need as many people as possible to fill out the census to get a better understanding of New Zealand as a whole. Layson Haykel, thank you for the update.